The skies above Sumy, Ukraine, were calm that morning, but behind the clouds a precise military operation was already underway. From hundreds of kilometers away, a Russian Iskander M tactical ballistic missile was launched. Minutes later, a powerful explosion shook the ground. A wave of fire and dust marked the end of a high-value target. According to the Russian Ministry of Defense, the strike was aimed at a Ukrainian HYMARS rocket artillery system, one of the main symbols of Western military support. The operation, they claim, successfully destroyed the launcher and its support vehicles. Sumy lies in northeastern Ukraine, close to the Russian border. Throughout the conflict, the area has served as a key logistics corridor for Ukrainian forces and a potential threat to border regions inside Russia. Intelligence reports indicated rocket activity near the village of Shaposhnikovo, believed to be the position of a HIMARS launcher. Within hours, the decision to strike was made. An Iskander M launch unit was moved into position. Target coordinates were fed into the guidance system, combining inertial navigation with GLONASS satellite data. The mission began, swiftly and without warning. The Iskander-M is Russia's short-range, surface-to-surface tactical missile system, built for precision strikes on high-value targets. Each missile carries a half-ton warhead, traveling up to 500 kilometers, capable of altering its flight path mid-air to evade enemy defenses. Its design allows for rapid deployment and near-instant retaliation before the opponent can relocate or shield critical assets. In the Sumi operation, the Iskander targeted a mobile HIMARS system, a fast-moving and well-protected unit. The missile was launched from Russian territory under full coordination between intelligence, aerial reconnaissance, and the missile crew. According to reports, it reached the target area in under five minutes. HIMAR, short for High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, was developed by Lockheed Martin in the United States. It's known for its precision strikes and ability to relocate quickly after firing. That combination of accuracy and mobility made it one of Ukraine's most effective long-range weapons, used to target ammunition depots, bridges, and logistics hubs deep behind Russian lines. Since mid-2022, HIMARS has been a central part of Ukraine's battlefield strategy. But in modern warfare, every innovation comes with an answer. The Sumi strike, if confirmed, illustrates how Russian surveillance and targeting networks can detect, track, and eliminate highly mobile systems like HIMARS. Video released by Russian sources reportedly shows the moment of impact. An Iskander missile is seen launching from a concealed position inside Russia. Its guidance system calculates wind speed, attack angle, and optimal approach altitude. Seconds before impact, the missile drops altitude and performs evasive maneuvers, making interception nearly impossible. Moments later, a massive explosion engulfs a rural area near Shaposhnikovo. Reconnaissance footage captures a fireball at the site where the HIMARS launcher was allegedly operating. The Russian Ministry of Defense announced the target had been destroyed. So far, Ukrainian officials have not confirmed nor denied the event. If verified, the destruction of a HIMARS in Sumy carries major strategic implications. First, it demonstrates that Russian reconnaissance can pinpoint mobile launchers quickly, even those designed for rapid relocation. Second, it highlights the coordination between ground intelligence, aerial surveillance, and precision missile systems. And third, it reinforces Russia's ongoing development in electronic warfare and missile guidance areas crucial to modern combat efficiency. Outside Russia, the strike drew attention from defense analysts around the world. International media focused on the evolving balance of technology in the conflict. For many observers, this incident underscored that modern warfare is no longer about troop numbers, but about information, timing, and precision. Western analysts called for independent verification of the Russian footage, while others acknowledged the technical possibility of such a strike given Russia's missile capabilities. Either way, experts agree. Both HIMARS and Iskander represent two opposing philosophies of 21st century warfare. Mobility versus precision.
The operation in Sumi adds another chapter to the story of modern conflict, where intelligence, technology, and split-second decisions define victory. Whether the HIMARS was completely destroyed or only damaged remains uncertain. But one fact is clear. In modern warfare, no system is truly invulnerable. Precision missiles, satellite reconnaissance, and digital command networks now decide the outcome long before soldiers ever meet on the battlefield. Behind every explosion lies a deeper message. That true power is not only about firepower, but about control of information and time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy in-depth analysis of global defense technology, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications for our next report.